On the Air Idiots. On the line right now, we got Scoop DeVille, On Air Idiot Show, Hot 937. And Scoop, man, wow. I mean, you're really buzzing on the production scene right now. You made the beat for, for Snoop Dogg. Yeah, man. And you got the beat that you did for Fat Joe. Yeah, man, that's, that record's crazy, the ha-ha joint. <laughs> so, so, Scoop, this is Big Man. Um, Let me ask you, how did that whole situation come about with you uh, working with Fat Joe? Because... He gave us one version of the story, but we need to hear your version. Well, yeah, man, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I was doing work with Snoop, and, you know, Snoop and Joe are friends. And at the time, Joe was just like, man, you got to get me with that producer. And sure enough, I got a phone call directly from them, just like, you know what I'm saying? They they hit me up, and they were like, yo, we want to you know, we wanna get in the lab with you. They flew me out to Miami. And, you know what I mean? Before, before I went to Miami, though, I did the Ha-Ha record here, like, at my crib. And they were just like, yo, we want to run with that and come out to Miami. I did a couple other joints with him. So it was cool, man. Just this, this, this I Want a Rock record, man, make all that kind of happen. And, and I hear that you were in the studio with, uh, with Busta Rhymes a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, man. We, we actually been working with Busta Rhymes. I've been doing, uh, you know, some songs for his upcoming album. From, from doing that, I mean, just all the stuff that's coming from that, too. Like, it's just crazy, man. Everything goes, like, in a full circle with everyone. Once you're in, you're in, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. Scoop, you, you could end up being the, the next big super producer, man. Man, I mean, that would be dope, man. I mean, it'd be more idea to do that because, I mean, I've been I've been doing it for such a long time, and, I mean, people don't really even know. Like, you know, I've been in the industry for a long time. My pops is Kid Frost, and, you know, so I got to see everything firsthand pretty much with everything. Yeah, you about to be in demand. Now, speaking of your father, Kid Frost, him being a West Coast legend, did that put pressure on you when you first got in the game? Um, yeah, I mean, it kind of just motivated me to start doing my own stuff because, you know, at that time, he was doing his thing, and, you know, I seen him turn turn nothing into something just quick, just over phone conversations and making people pay him and doing shows, and I just pretty much soaked all that up like a sponge, man, and started grinding on my own. So, you know, 17, 18 years old, I already had songs that were out, like, on the radio and, you know, like on pop billboards and just doing numerous things like that and that's how I kind of got my name out there I kept grinding and you know Pops have always been uh, real like inspirational he's always been there to help me and kind of motivate me to always do music you know what I mean now going back to the Fat Joe record that we were just talking about earlier you heard the locks just jumped on it right yeah man that's that that's crazy I can't believe it man all these legends is coming out and 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 rocking all over the beats, man. It's crazy. I mean, just Jay Z rapped over the I Wanna Rock joint. You know what I mean? It's 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 just crazy to have two big records out like that. And you know, people are, I'm sure are tripping like, yo, who is this kid? Or who produced the joints? And when they find out, they're like, oh man, that's crazy. And I heard you got a joint with Busta Rhymes that's gonna blow people's tops off, man. Oh my God, man! I cannot wait till I can put that out. It's it's gonna be some crazy, man. Some something real ridiculous. Right, right. Now. Now, Scoop, you're also in a group called Get Busy Committee. Yeah, man, with, with Apathy, you know what I'm saying, uh, C- CT's own. Now, now, tell the people who's in Get Busy Committee and how you guys came about getting together. Through, like, Shinoda, you know, Mike Shinoda and, and everything. They had the Fort Minor record, and that's how I met Ryu, and Ryu and Apathy are real good friends. You know what I'm saying? They they always worked with each other, demigods, and, you know what I'm saying? That, that's how it all kind of came about. We just we kept doing records with each other, and, you know, all of a sudden, we kind of just came together and formed a super group, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. He's crazy, man. The, the dude's a talented, talented MC. And I mean, not only that, but the dude got beats too. So like, right. people don't even know Apathy's crazy. Absolutely. Shouts to Apathy and uh, Scoop. Who who can we expect you to be working with next? All right, you got Buster Buster Rhymes joints are gonna be coming out. You already did Snoop. You did Fat Joe. Who else? I've been working with Clips. Um, I've been working with Jamie Fox. I've been so I've been doing a few things, man. Um, you know, I'm 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 really happy to. I can't wait for them Clips records to come out because they're already in the bag. And you know, I mean, I'm cheesy for some records too. So I mean, it's there's a few things, man, that's going to be coming out real soon. And you know, some more work with Snoop also, and Exhibit, and you know, everyone else. Wow, Scoop, your price is going up, brother. Man, it's, it's, it feels good, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not. You know, like a, a stubborn dude when it comes to the money, but I just like to work with talented people, and you know what I'm saying? If it's it's, it's kind of like that, we we try to put people on too, as much as you know, because we got so much love and how we got put on, we try to show love back too to people who deserve it. Right now, when can we expect the Get Busy Committee album? 
Man, we well the first album's already out right now. It's called Uzi Does It. And you know what I mean? It's all it's all over. You can get it on iTunes, you can get it on the website. And you know, we're we're on Twitter and all that. So we're working already on the on the E P that's still in the drop like in a few months. And we got the second official album coming out with bus on it and you know, we're gonna have a few guest appearances. It's it's gonna be a real good look. Is there anything else that our listeners should know? Um, man, just be on the lookout, man. We we coming real hard. Uh Worldwide, universal, everything. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to keep it for everybody and, and just make good music, man. And, and there's no color lines. And we're just trying to keep it moving, man, out here. That's it. We're trying to show showcase what we got. We're trying to bring back the hip-hop stuff. So, you know, be on the lookout, everybody, you know? <laughs> That's what it is. Scoop DeVille, we appreciate you taking some time out, man, checking in, man. Oh, man, anytime, man. Call, call up and check up on your boy, man. I'll fill you in. All right. That's what it is, man. We'll talk to you soon. All right, brother, man. I appreciate it. Y'all be cool. CT, be easy. No doubt, man. Peace. Peace. On your idiots. On your idiots. 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 idiots.